yeah, that's so what I think we're gonna a little bit argue on. So yeah, my number three is Rudy Gobert. My number two is Anthony Davis, and my number one is Giannis. I agree. I oh. completely agree with <laughs> okay, you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so why do you why do you have that? Why do you have Giannis? I'm surprised. I thought you were gonna argue with me about that because that seems yeah. like a take that I would have on this. No, like the Bucks defense has been historic this year. Historically good. So they deserve the defensive player of the year. And the best player by far on the Bucks defensive end is Giannis. By far. It's not Giannis is not the best player on the defense. He is the defense. Like yeah. the Bucks were the number one I mean by defensive rating, they were the number one team by a mile, by like four points this year. Yeah. And they only allowed thirty eight point eight points in the paint which mm-hmm. is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Davis has Giannis beat by the numbers, like by the run yeah. numbers, 2.4 blocks and 1.5 steals versus one and one for Giannis. Mm-hmm. But I mean, the numbers I care about are those team defense numbers because Giannis, I think, is the best help defender of all time. I can't really think of anyone who would be a better help oh. defender. Than that, that <laughs> I don't know about all time, but definitely right now. He I is. mean, he's yeah. by far the best help defender in the league right now. Yeah, but like the reason I have him and Anthony Davis above Rudy Gobert, yeah, is just because of their versatility. Yeah, yeah. Like they can yeah. switch on to the point guard for limited roles. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can switch on to like any forward, any guard. They could guard the center. They're just iconic defenders. Like they will be remembered as like mm-hmm. the prototypical defender. Like, yeah, you want everyone to be Giannis yeah. and AD. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, just watch the Bucks play. Mm-hmm. and see guys on the other teams just not even try to drive into the paint. Yeah. Because, you, I mean, Brooke, Brooke Lopez, I mean, you got to give credit to him. He has stepped up a lot as a defender because we yeah. used to make fun of him all the time for being a, a horrible defender. Just and getting dunked on. Good. Yeah. yeah, all the time. Um, he, He's still not a good defender getting caught on switches, but that, that doesn't happen a lot in the Bucs uh, def- defense. Um, But, so obviously credit to him, but I don't think he would look anywhere near as good as he looks without Giannis just – always being there to clean up yeah. mistakes. And, uh, I mean, another thing is I don't think you can ignore defensive rebounding. Giannis averaged 11.5, and, and you, Davis only averaged 9.5. Yeah. Uh, so we I, can yeah. talk about Gobert, too, because mm-hmm. he's a two-time defense player of the year, and he's still third on this list. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We could say – some people say it's voter fatigue that he's not winning again. Yeah. By, like, be. us but fans I mean, in general. Yeah. But – the reason for Rudy Gobert is uh, Giannis has a Brook Lopez. Uh, Anthony yeah. Davis has a Dwight Howard, a JaVale McGee, a Danny Green, mm-hmm. some solid defenders. Gobert so that team really defense, doesn't have yeah. anyone. So, so maybe it should actually go to Rudy because he yeah. doesn't have as much help. But I mean, those... Donovan Mitchell's a bad defender. Yeah. Joel Ingles is a good defender, but you can see him. Mm-hmm. He goes for a lot of steals and cuts the passing laces sometimes because he knows he has Rudy Gobert behind him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bogdanovich is not a good defender. Mike He's Conley. Okay. He did a good Mike job Conley on, a on great... LeBron that one time in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> Mike but, Conley's uh... not a good NBA player anymore. Oh, <laughs> disrespectful. Yeah. Uh, Royce O'Neal was a good defender, which yeah, he was good. helping out Rico yeah. Bear. Yeah. Oh, but man, I mean, just keeps that team afloat. I just, I think Giannis is just insane. I, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, I can see Davis winning it. I'm pretty sure Davis is the favorite, actually, to win the award. I think so as well, yeah. But I would definitely give it to Giannis because, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously Davis is almost as good as Giannis as a, as a making that team defense good. Like, that Lakers team was near the top uh, and yeah. all the defensive stats, too, and obviously that, that wouldn't happen with, without Davis. Without Davis, yeah. But, I mean, Giannis, you'll see, he'll be guarding someone on the perimeter, and Brooke Lopez will get beat, like, by a guy cutting to the basket and Giannis will be there in, in a half second in two steps and yeah. like just where did he come from just swatting the ball into the stands or the other way around he can close out to the perimeter in, in like a half second it's ridiculous yeah. to just watch the Bucks. to be fair to Giannis uh, the reason Davis is probably the favorite is because uh, Bledsoe gets a lot of credit True. Chris Middleton gets a decent amount of yeah. credit Brooke Lopez gets a lot Brooke of credit Brooke Lopez gets a great credit as well yeah so. yeah that's I guess fair. the other solid defenders on the team kind of diminish Giannis' chance at this award, but I just think it's so historic. Four points, like yeah. you mentioned, like yeah. it's such a clear advantage. Yeah, that I, award has to go to the Bucks. Like, yeah, just give it to them as a team, if anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, 
Giannis deserves this, in my opinion. It's crazy. Yeah, and I do, but I do think it will go to Davis in part also because part of the narr- narrative around LeBron now is people like to say that he is not even close to the defender as he used to be, yeah. and I've I've been guilty of saying that too. Yeah, he is a little. He is better than than the narrative makes him sound. But it is mm-hmm. true that uh, that the individual defenders on the Bucks are probably better than the, the ones that the Lakers have. Yeah, I mean, it's not that much of a difference, but it probably give it to the Bucks. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it's it's a point where if Giannis, Anthony Davis, or Rudy Gobert wins, you can't be mad. You, no, you can't be mad. Yeah, but. We just want to yeah. lead. It's the historic team defense, which Giannis leads. Yeah, and another thing, yeah. um, spoiler alert, but Giannis is one of the top two finalists for MVP. And yeah. maybe they don't, voters won't want to give him both. Yeah, because it hasn't happened in a while where yeah. someone's won MVP and defensive play of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think like Tim Duncan or and Michael Jordan were like the last two players to do it. So it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, so who knows, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, Giannis is pretty universally loved, so maybe it'll happen yeah. this year. 